Hi there, welcome to Breakable Sessions. Uh, today we're going to talk about choosing the right microphones for the right application. Choosing the right microphone for the right purpose could be easy sometimes, could be really hard. What I've noticed is that um, a lot of times I thought I knew what microphone was the right one. Then it turns out that I was completely wrong. For example, I have been watching a lot of shootouts on microphones on different stuff. Um, one good example is when they shoot out microphones on snare drums. It's really easy to make an opinion on, on the tone of the microphone, which one you think sounds the best. But when you do the full drum recording, you're going to notice that the, the bleed from the hi-hat and stuff like that, on some microphones it could be more bleed, but the bleed sounds good. And on some microphones the bleed could be less, but the bleed sounds really bad. Or it can sound a lot and sound bad, which would be the worst kind of scenario. I have one um, Biodynamic uh, M81 microphone, I think it's called. Um, that I did a shootout on the snare drum once and I thought it sounded really amazing, so I used it a lot. Then in the mixing phase I noticed that it had a lot of hi-hat bleed and also that the bleed sounded really bad. So unfortunately that microphone is now a no-no for me when recording snare drums. The same thing is when recording guitars and stuff like that. I tend to do a lot of live recording in the studio and I have a small room. I need a bleed between microphones to be not necessarily be as little as possible, but it has to sound good and ideally sound good and be as little as possible. At the beginning, when I did my live recordings, I never used ribbon microphones uh, on the guitar amps because I usually have the guitar amps on the opposite side of the room uh, facing, the, uh, facing the drummer so that the microphone on the guitar amp is facing away from the drums. Uh, and I thought uh, that my ribbon microphones would take up a lot of the drums since they are a figure eight, so they pick up as much uh, in both directions. But one time I just tried it just to see what it sounded like. It actually didn't have any bleed at all. Oh, it, di it did have bleed, but not as much as, for example, my, uh, my condensers that has a cardioid uh, polar pattern that should be taking up a lot less from behind than in front, but my figure of eight ribbon microphone was picking up less of the drums anyway. Probably because of how, how the sensitivity of the microphone works, but you should definitely try different microphones. If you have a lot of different microphones, you should try it. And you should also try uh, not only what the, the actual source is going to sound like, but also the surroundings. Um, as I said, with the hi-hat on the snare mic and cymbals and tom mics and stuff like that. I recorded in a studio once where they had some really nice condenser pencil microphones. It was the... I think it was the MyLab V44, I don't remember what it's called. I'm, I'm gonna write it uh, here on the screen what it's called. Um, and they sounded amazing on the toms. And also they sounded amazing on the bleed. They had a lot of bleed, they, they took out a lot of uh, cymbals and stuff, but everything sounded great. So actually I never, I didn't even have to, to gate the toms at all, even if it was a pretty tight metal production. Uh, I could EQ them and compress them and the cymbal bleed still sounded good because the sound was good. Usually the off axis bleed on some microphones can sound a little um, com filtery and stuff like that. Uh, and that's what you don't want. I'm not going to provide you with any tests and stuff like that in this video. This is just a, a reminder or a inspiration of thought to really try out your different microphones to see what they do and what they don't and what they do good and stuff like that. Um, and also make you try different stuff because not everything works as you think it does. But the plan here is to do some sort of shootout. So I would like to have some uh, tips and opinions from you guys on if you have any microphones that you really think this microphone I really love on this source uh, because of this and that. I would love to try to collect some of the, those microphones and make shootouts on, um, I don't know, maybe snare and guitars and stuff like that. We'll see what happens. Uh, if you just give me your tips on microphones that you think I should try uh, and the source you want me to try it on, I will collect some of those and make a video on that. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you again in two weeks. Take care. Cheers.